So, in this lecture, we will try to understand the types of digital signals, especially we will focus on binary signals that is used the most. Now, this is a digital signal that we have already discussed in previous lectures. It has got values at discrete instants of time. A digital signal by definition as you know, it is a discrete time discrete value signal. So, at discrete instants of time like at 2, at 3, at 4, 6, 8, it has got values like 1.2, 4.3, 3.5 and so on. So, it is derived from an analog signal which is a original signal. Now, this digital signal we can represent by many types. You can actually divide it into two levels. Let us now come to one type, one very important type of digital signal that is a binary signal or a binary digital signal. Now, in a binary signal what we do? Let us focus on this term binary, binary signal. What is meant by binary? Binary by means two, two levels. One is high level, another is low level. The high level in digital signals, the high level is represented by 1 and the low level is represented by 0. This is a convention. No, you can any day change it on your wish, but the all the circuits and electronic circuits and signals, they are designed by this convention that high level signals are represented by 1 and low level signals are represented by 0. So, 0 and 1 these two are not two numbers, they are representing two levels. If you are uh, like this signal is a voltage signal, all these values represent some voltage signal. Like this is here the voltage at second time instant, the voltage value is 1.2 volts. So, this is 1.2 volts. The next at say 3 instant, this is 4.3 volts. So, if you are considering a voltage signal, then this high level means it is high voltage level. This low level means low voltage level. And again, suppose you are considering a current signal, then we may represent this. Suppose I write it a current signal and the unit of current is in maybe milli amperes. So, all these values might be in milli amperes. So, then this signal can also be converted into a binary signal. Then we consider this as high current level is represented by 1, low current level is represented by 0. So, any signal you consider, what you do is you put a threshold mark, maybe like this. So, that is again, it depends on the user or type of the application that where you choose the threshold level. So, that means, suppose here this threshold level is 2 volts or 2 milli amperes as it is a current signal, I have converted it to a current signal. So, so this is a threshold level that I have selected based on my application. So, 2 milli ampere is the threshold, how I will consider how I will take this one high level, high current level is greater than I will choose my logic as anything which is greater than 2 milli amps will be considered as one level, anything which is less than or equal to 2 milli amperes will be considered as zero level. And accordingly, all the values we plot, we select either it is a 1 level value or it is a 0 level value. 
so if you now write this signal by two levels then suppose this 1.2 comes under suppose i write it as 0 at this point 2 so this is a zero signal at this point 3 this value is 4.3 so it is greater than 2 milliamperes so it is it comes under high current level so i will represent that by one level again the next signal at 4 it is having a value of 3.5 which is again it is greater than 2 so i will again write it as one signal at 6 it is having a value of 1.3 1.3 is less than 2 milliampere so it comes under zero value and at 8 this is having a value of 4.4 milliampere which is greater than 2 so again it will be 1 it, we can write it as 1 so we are representing all these discrete values in terms of two numbers or two levels one is 0 another is 1 so this signal which was a digital signal that means discrete value at discrete instance of time that we have converted into two levels by two numbers we have represented it now this signal which was having many values 1.2 4.3 3.5 1.3 and 4.4 we have converted it to only a two level signal by representing it like this 0 1 1 0 1 is now this signal by this definition definitely by this definition we have converted it to a binary signal the definition is anything greater than 2 will be considered as one level or high level anything less than or equal to 2 milliamperes will be considered as zero level or low level so that is how a binary signal is made a binary digital signal is made and digital signals can be of many like this it can have many levels and we actually have digital signals like that in earlier days like when we used to use telegraphic used to send telegraphic messages then we used to have for each alphabet from a to z for 26 alphabets we used to have different signal levels suppose for the letter a we used to send a voltage signal of say maybe 3.5 for letter b 3.7 so accordingly for each and every alphabet there was a different voltage level and it was in total a 40 including comma full stop etc for all those alphabets and uh, other symbols there was different voltage levels fixed so it was a 40 level you now our telegraphic message that was a 40 level digital system you know used in earlier days it is now obsolete so now we are focusing on a two level system definitely that is you know very user friendly and easy to use easy for the un user to use and you know easy to decode also so the basic understanding of a binary digital signal that means you have to understand first that a digital signal is not only about zeros and ones or zeros and ones here they are not two numbers they signify two levels high level and low level and any signal how many number there may be you know innumerable innumerable number of signals or signal values instead of this 6 7 there can be you know 100 200 thousand 10000 number of samples maybe lakhs of samples now out of those you know from those thousand and lakhs of samples you can convert it again to two values zeros and ones just by giving a keeping a threshold value above that threshold value we will consider it as a logic one or level one below that threshold value we will consider it as logic zero or level zero and accordingly we will number those like this is zero this is one this is zero this is one and so on so we will you know put the sample or write the signal as in terms of zeros and ones so that is very important to understand that 
a binary digital signal that means a binary signal is, is a subclass of it is a digital signals it is a digital signal but not all digital signals are binary that means a binary signal is a type of a digital signal but there are other types of digital signals also where you have more than two levels they are described by many other numbers like i said you can have a digital signal which has got maybe 10 levels and then we'll describe it as with numbers starting from 0 1 2 3 till 9 that means we will have 10 different levels from 0 to 9 there are 10 different levels so we will we can we can actually represent a digital signal by 10 levels also and there is a digital signal like that which is called a decimal digital system where you have 10 different levels this signal like this signal can also be represented by 10 different levels suppose i select here a level at 1 milliamperes you say that less than 1 is 0 within 1 to 2 it is 2 greater than 2 it is 3 then greater than maybe you know greater than 2 and less than 3 it is 3 greater than 3 less than 4 it is 4 likewise also you can divide it so the definition depends on the user so it is always easy to have two levels that is why we prefer to use binary digital signal only and the concept of binary digital signal is like this that you have a threshold anything greater than some threshold value you uh, give it a high level or one level or logic one anything below that you mention it as low level or low logic or one, zero logic and accordingly you make the signal so that is the understanding of a binary digital signal we will discuss the other types of digital signals in next lecture